guys. Uh, reaching out to you again. Uh, don't have my cheap Walmart fan in the background. Uh, we're at the house, and the reason why we're here is, um, as you guys know, uh, Sophie had the puppies, and we have the five puppies now. So, um, unfortunately, one of them, it was born, she's okay right now, uh, she's not eating, and um, she's probably half the weight as the rest of them. Um, they're thinking it's the cleft palate and that she can't eat on her own unless she's fed. So I um, believe that she deserves a second chance to make it, especially since she's just a little puppy. So um, I'm, I've been feeding her uh, via the syringe. Um, so that's what we're doing today. For some reason we're showing you guys because apparently just 20 minutes out of my day isn't a fucking enough. You actually want to, you didn't follow me through the garage. So, but you, I can assure you, I walked through the garage into this big kitchen. Anyway, so um, we're using this. Um, it's very good for puppies and, and dogs. So it's almost like the same milk that we make for the baby. There's Papa Bear. He's poked the bear one too many times too. That's why he has so many puppies running around. Child support's coming for him. Gotta measure out the right amount of water for the one tablespoon. She doesn't even eat this much yet, but it's still too many. And We're gonna heat it in the heater over here, which we have. We're cheating on Starbucks today. The Little Mermaid will be upset. So then we're gonna take the bottle and the syringe. We're gonna go feed her. She's very small. She's alert though, and she's happy. But this is how big she should be. Huge difference. Huge difference. This is one of the Metro State doggies. Go ahead and get the syringe full, filled up. And then we're gonna turn it over. Come here. Come on. There it is. And I give him, I give her two of these. Sometimes she only eats about one and a half. But, and we do this about eight to ten times a day. Come on, you're hungry. So. There you go. He's done. Okay. Are you watching? Filming? She took two, so that's good. After I feed her, I'm going to go ahead and put her under the other puppies and try to latch her back on. So she latches and still kind of eats, but then she's warm because her body size isn't big enough for the warm. So. Go ahead and stop filming the dogs. So this is our dining room. Um, I, as you can see, it, it it holds, you know, six people. 
Probably because there's six bedrooms. But anyways, and then of course, you recognize this, right? I mean, get out of the funeral! Get out of the funeral! Okay, and this is kind of like our entertainment room. Um, movies. We had the entertainment seats here where they kicked up and you could put your drinks in it and you know, the chairs vibrate with the movies and stuff. Multiple rooms for our daughter. She has the run of the mill with the, the pink little party room here. So, um, but we had to take that chair out for now for the movies, movie room. And then this isn't technically a room of our house, but they are crashing. Um, so we're going to charge them rent in a few months. Um, once they can get on their own feet and open their eyes, get them to work, start uh, making some rent money off of them. This is the master bedroom with the beautiful dressers and crazy amount of drill ring. And then um, go ahead and show you the walk-in closets that we have because God forbid if you don't believe us. I know a lot of you said I probably shouldn't show this stuff, you know. It's a little bit of a mess, you know, but between the Louis Vuittons and the Birkin and the Birkin and the other Louis Vuitton and let's see here, Michael Kors galore. It's ridiculous. And, and that one again, I, I can't remember the name of it. This is kind of my wife's she shed. She even has a little seat with the floor. She does her shoes and everything in here. This is where all the other stuff happens in the master bedroom. And so, please mind the mess, you guys. I guess we probably should have cleaned the house. So we got the side shower, the world to pull tub, the separated toilet, the beautiful woman's vanity, the cologne galore that everyone talks shit. Back in the kitchen, this is our, our uh, bar. So you can sit at the bar. You don't have to sit at the dinner table or the, the breakfast nook. You know, um, then we have the living room. This is where we hang out the most. Um, 65 inch, got the fireplace, got the 65 inch. This is, this is room two, two. So you've seen the office. A lot of stuff's missing right now because it's all in the car, the helmet, the cameras, the gear, you know. Oh, the special operations book. Oh, there's the closet with all the uniforms and gear. You know. At least. So this is going to be Amira's playroom. We got a bedroom. This is her playroom. So we're going to go to her playroom, then her bedroom. Now this is the princess's room. You've already seen this, but you get to see it again. Kind of updated it, put new floor carpet in, put the new carpet in for the baby girls. This is the guest room. This is where my mom stays when she comes to visit and take care of Amira and things. The guest room, not the best, it's just the guest room. You know, got the extra crib in case, you know, family wants to have a mirror in here, extra bed. So while they're here, they can crash, um, things like that. Just the extra room. So this is the guest bathroom. We've already renovated this one. See the new sinks, new cabinets. As you can see, our dog bowls are on the floor, hardwood floor, just like the rest of the house. A room that's attached to the 0.5 bathroom, a Florida room, they call them, and then connected to it is the uh, 0.5 bathroom. So this is the back porch. Um, got the little fireplace. What? While we're smoking the hookah. In fact, we need to empty that out. And, uh, 
Bought some new clippers for my wife. And her gloves. She's got her new little vegetable garden going on. Beautiful little vegetable garden. We'll see if she's got the green thumb or not. If she does, we're gonna start selling some vegetables. Got the hookah for the fam. Got the pink and the blue. Uh, this is our prayer area where we lay our prayer rugs to make salah. And um, yeah, so we have our prayer beads.